You're saying that NVIDIA is the new Cisco. Explain yourself, Lev. There's a lot of parallels here, Stuart, between the late 90s. You remember the late 90s? It was a good time, great time for music, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Very well. And you know, what you're seeing right now with NVIDIA, right? Cisco at the time, they provide the routers and the switches for the internet. Everyone had to have their equipment because the internet was going to change everything, which eventually did. Um, and right now you have NVIDIA, their chips obviously provide every, you know, they're the hardware that you need for AI, artificial intelligence, that's all you're hearing about. Demand has gone through the roof. In fact, earnings are supposed to go up another 100% this year based on analyst projections, which is like a pretty phenomenal number. And they've got this big thing today, I don't know, what, I don't know exactly what it's called, but they've got the B100, the brand new chip, super fast, etc., et coming out today, I believe. Is that right, Lauren? They're expected to announce the B100. The that's today. a big deal. It's a big deal, but remember, markets are forward-looking. They price this stuff in ahead of time, and if you look at last year's revenue, 20% of the revenue came from one big mega cap buyer, uh, meaning that you know it's, you have basically only a couple companies here, really for a kind of a chip grab right now, trying to hoard these chips because they don't know the availability, they don't know about the supply that's going to be there, and I suspect we're a little overzealous right now on how much artificial intelligence is going to change the world short term, long term arguably going to dramatically change the world. And I think that's what happened with Cisco is demand got so hot for such a short period of time in the late 90s. In fact, at one point, Cisco was trading at 100 times forward earnings, which is crazy. Stock went from 80 down to 8, Stuart, once that demand dried up. And I think you have the same risk here with NVIDIA. You're getting to a point now you have 37 times forward earnings. Still not as expensive as Cisco. But at some point, if that demand starts to dry up and at that valuation and those expectations, it might not end pretty. Nonetheless, if AI is the new internet and the new iPhone carrying us forward, sure, everybody has to have a piece of the principal AI company, which is NVIDIA. So should we just buy it, period? No, no, I think you avoid it because of the valuation, you buy every other company because every really? company is going to be an AI company. Every company is going to benefit from AI just like every company benefited from the internet back in the 2000s. You know, 80% of those dot-com companies went to zero yet every company improved their margins, productivity went up because of the internet. Same thing with the AI right now. It's like everything else but big tech is probably a phenomenal buy right now. And I can tell you from all the portfolios I look at every week, everybody's way overweighted in mega cap tech, NVIDIA. They've overweighted the overweight. And so when that music stops, it ain't going to be pretty. Fascinating.